guys, it's Tiny Christina and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have a special guest. It is a collab video. So if you want to see what we're going to talk about and who is going to be joining me on my channel today, stay tuned. Hi guys. Hey everyone. I know, there's two of us. <laughs> Surprise. So excited today. Yes. So excited today so because excited. we are talking about something that you know you need to hear about. Yes. Yes. Get your what listening are we ears about? on. Yeah. Finding your tribe, making friends, finding friends, who are the right friends. Right. All of that. Right. And we talk about relationships all the time, friendships all the time, yeah. no new friends, hashtags, and all this stuff. But I'm um, <laughs> guilty. We, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we have this. We have this. But are we really making the best relationships, the best friendships? Yes. That's the question. That so the we question. are talking about finding your tribe today. Yes, we are. Um, but of course, there's two of us, and we want to make sure that we introduce each other. Great. So I am here with Taina Christina. Here she is. <laughs> follow her on Instagram. Follow her on YouTube. Um, for all of my followers, I hope that you enjoy this. Like, subscribe. Um, super dope channel. We want you to know about Taina Christina. Thank you. Yeah. And hi, y'all, to all my friends and family. I got Christian Girl Kelly here on my channel. Head over to her channel. Tell her I sent you. Subscribe. Follow her on all her social medias. I will have them linked down below in the description box for you. Be friends. Let's create a bigger community. Yes. Uh, let's all be friends in one big happy family. But we're so glad to be talking today about friendship and, you know, even just a little bit of how we came to be how here, yes. and now we're doing this. Yes, yes. So let's tell them about it. How did we meet? We met at, you guessed it, church. Church. Yeah, we, we church girls. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We, we love the Lord. We love the Lord. He heard my cry. Hallelujah. <laughs> we met at, I think it was probably YMG. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so our young adult. YMG is mm -hmm. our young adult group. Um, I think that was... We yeah, there. there. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we met a young adult event uh, at mm -hmm. a church. She, I was new to the church. Yes, just got here a couple of months ago. Already her church, and we connected that way. Um, saw each other at some more events, yeah. more church events. We're able. We went to a really cool poetry event. I think that yeah. was like the real click. Yeah, when we went to the poetry event, uh, car pulled over, yeah. uh, Christian poetry event, and. Um, just connected from there, yeah. yeah. And now we're here. Yeah. Look at the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, won't he do it? Won't, won't he do he... it? Won't he do it? Um, yeah, so, like, it's it's funny how, you know, things work. I don't think anything's by coincidence. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny that two Christian YouTubers yeah. in the small demographic of Christian YouTubers yeah, would meet. true. In all places, New England, you yeah. know, every, you know, the Christian world is like, oh, New England, but yet here we are, here we are, um, doing this. So it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we also like the fact that not only are we here in this region that's not known, yeah. right, for having lots of Christians together, mm -hmm. um, being YouTubers, but also like having different personalities, yes. which is really cool. Yeah. Um. So I would say I am an extrovert. I'm not. <laughs> right. <laughs> so definitely, like, I'm the person who, when I'm out and about, I am the one who's, like, initiating conversation. You know, I'll ask I'm questions. Not. I'm like, hi, my <laughs> name is, what is your name? Yes. Um, and, I mean, Tanya Christina will tell you that. I don't do any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it real here, yeah. you already know. I am totally the poster child for an introvert. Mm -hmm. I am very much keep to myself. Um, very shy in a room. I people watch, um, and I scope maybe who's that one person I can probably chit chat for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then I'm totally okay, like sitting by myself in silence, yeah, <laughs> in a room full of people. So we are like polar opposites. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I mean, we say that because we think that it's really important when you're trying to find your tribe before yeah. you even extend yourself. You need to know yourself. Yes. You good. need to know who you are. Hashtag. Uh, what type of person are you? Are you the type of person who, you know, you know you're going to this event and you can go by yourself. And yeah. we talked about this. Like, yes. I will literally, I went by myself. I knew no one. I was like, I found this church online. <laughs> I found out about this event probably like the first yeah. time I went. And I was like, absolutely. I'm going to go. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to meet somebody there. And I mean, and that's, that's what like, I did. Stranger danger. <laughs> right. I don't have any problems with that. But you know, like, I, I know that about myself and yeah. so I 
I realized that when I'm going places, I'm usually looking for people who might be a little quieter. Like, I am that person, and I don't know how you feel, like, but I'm, I'm like, hi, you know, how are you? Just super and excited. Like, <laughs> and um, just knowing that I'm, I'm comfortable with being in yeah. these situations and, and being, you know, the only person uh, yeah. who doesn't have a crew, who doesn't have a clique. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important for me to know that because when I'm interacting with people who are extroverts, you know, they get it, we get yeah. it, we click really quickly. Uh, but also understanding when I'm interacting with introverts, you know, yeah. they have to bring it down a little yes. bit, understand um, that, you know, it's not necessarily that they're not interested or not yeah. friendly, but, you know, I'm just coming with my yeah. big extroverted self yeah. um, to the environment. Yeah. 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 Agreed. And as an introvert, knowing that you have to kind of get past that you're introvert, um, I think we, you know, use that as a comfort, as a security, like, oh, no, we're just shy. Like, there's a difference mm -hmm. between shy and being introverted. Like, you can just be a shy extrovert, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're introverted, it's just naturally not your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. It's naturally not your personality to, like, put yourself out there. Yeah. And so understand that, like, receive from that extroverted person mm -hmm. who's coming up to you. Like, don't shut them down so fast after just, like, hello and, like, say hi and goodbye. Mm -hmm. Like, receive from that person, engage in conversation with that person, because that's how you can get to know people as an introvert who doesn't naturally talk to people that they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Receiving from that person and engaging in conversation is a technique that you do have to learn and, like, yeah. practice, practice doing that. Like, go somewhere and be like, okay, the next person who's not a creepy person, if right. you get, like, creep vibes, I understand, okay? Yeah. But if they're not, you know, weirding you out just yet... <laughs> Engage in conversation with yeah. that person, and you never know what kind of friendship can grow from that. So, right. learning that art, practicing it, um, getting more courageous and going to things alone, or going to things a little early before your friends get there, That's true, right? um, just to kind of scope out the place mm -hmm. um, and observe. Funny story, actually. Yeah, tell the story. I went to an event yesterday, and I got there before my friends did, mm -hmm. and they were playing People Bingo which we play a lot at mm -hmm. our young adults group. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, people bingo. I'm like, I don't want to play people bingo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I play this all the time. Mm -hmm. And I also was like, I also don't want to talk to anybody in this yeah. room. I knew no one. And I was the first one to get there, so I mm -hmm. got my people bingo sheet. And if right. you don't know what it is, it's basically a bingo board, and it has all these topics or questions, mm -hmm. and you need to go find someone that fits, you know, something in the board, like someone whose favorite color is blue, and you yeah. find that person and get to write their name, and when you get bingo, you win. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not going to ask anybody any of these questions. I'm not playing this game. And people would come up to you, because other people are playing the game, right? Because other people want to win the prize. I you. Yes. And I'm like, uh, hi. <laughs> My name's Taina. Can I help you with your board? Please leave. Um, and it was so awkward. But I had to like let that wall down yeah. and be like, okay, even if I even if I don't want to play, at least the people who are coming to me, let me help them out, mm -hmm. get their name, mm -hmm. you know, see if they go to this um, particular church that was holding this event or whatever the case may be. And then they're going to go away because they're playing a game. So right. they're going to move on to the next person. Right. So it's really short interactions, but mm -hmm. letting myself do that. Right. In an environment where I would probably be like, oh, I'm going to go sit in the bathroom until my friends get here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a step forward. So for my introverted people, go places a little bit earlier than your friends. Because, yeah. of course, my friends came and I was like, yay, thank right, you. Right, right. My floor I'm not leaving my bubble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but that period of time beforehand, I was like, oh, my gosh. Right. Right. I'm, like, texting them. I'm like, are you guys here? Yeah. Like, park your car. Like, right. come inside. Right. We're in the right. back. Please right. find me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was a good time. I had a good time. Good. Um, you know, met some names, did some Instagram, um, you know, switching, exchanges, yeah. exchanges. So do that, my introvert folks. Yeah. You know, step out. Step out. Right. And I think that really does uh, kind of move us into our yes. next topic. We want to talk about where to where? meet people. So when you're trying to find your favorite, try one, you know, find mm -hmm. out who you are, figure yes. out what you like. What do you like? Yes. Um, I mean, we're both church girls. Yes. So um, I spend a lot of my time, if I'm not like working, yeah. I'll probably, probably do something church related, Same. Christian related, yeah. love the Lord Jesus. Um, but you know, we have different interests. And so yes. if you're the type of person, for example, if you love museums, we we're just talking about museums, yes. we love museums. 
So if you're the type of person who likes museums, maybe you go to like a, a, a museum opening, like a yeah. gallery opening, opening, and that's a good place to find people yeah. who are like-minded. They like to look at art. Um, they mm -hmm. like to talk about art. Yeah. And so you might find people who are like-minded. For ex another example is if you are um, someone who is really into music, yeah. And you like concerts, like outdoor concerts, free yeah. concerts, jazz, or whatever you like, rock, whatever it might be. Like, you should consider, you know, the type of events, yeah. not just the music events where there are concerts, but yeah. there might be other appreciation con events yeah. that they have um, around the city or town that you live yeah. in. And it's a nice time for you to get to know people who also share those yeah. interests. Yeah. yeah. And it's always like, oh, go to these things. Go to these things if they actually interest you. Right, right. Um, don't go because you're like, oh, I want to meet people who like love music or know about this music. And then you go and you can't hold a conversation yeah. or you're kind of like, I right. actually don't know why I'm here. This is true. Um, like, it makes sense. You want people who, you know, you, you want your friend circle to be very diverse. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like first impression, you want to go somewhere where you're comfortable in having right. a conversation. Because the goal is to make friends. Exactly. So going somewhere, you know, I probably would not go to, like, an art museum. I'm not an art connoisseur. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, all these terms or mm -hmm. all these things. Yeah. And so if someone came up to me and wanted to have this great conversation, and I'm like, I can't help you. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing for you. Mm -hmm. That kind of kills the whole mood. Right. Right there. And they're like, well, then why are you right here? here yeah. Why are you talking to me? Like, That's what's true. going on? Mm -hmm. So go somewhere where you're actually interested. Absolutely. Like, and it actually fascinates you. You actually mm -hmm. want to learn more. Mm -hmm. You have a little base knowledge. So you can have a conversation with somebody. And it can flow that way versus right. it's like that person's like, oh, you don't really know anything. And now they're like awkwardly talking yeah, to funny. you. Yeah. And they're trying to figure out a way to escape the conversation. Because right. you're just, just, just like, so I got nothing yeah. for you. And it's, it becomes yeah. really weird. Yeah. So go somewhere where you want to go. <laughs> right. That's um, very true. And your friend circle will become diverse by itself naturally. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's really, uh, <laughs> I know there's been some times where I've gone places yeah. that I w was not, you know, very keen on going. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, I think this goes into peer pressure as well, especially yeah. if you're in a new environment, especially uh, maybe you've had a major change of friends and you're trying to make new friends, yeah. right? That's the whole goal. And so maybe you get an invitation from somebody random or like, hey, we're all going to go out to do this or we're going to go see this or mm -hmm. that or the other. Um, not every invitation is a good invitation. I agree. Not every invitation. So if uh -huh. you are uh, in a situation where you're like, ah, oh, I should... I just want to go out because I was invited. Think about where you're invited. Think about mm -hmm. whether it's some place that you yeah. should be. I yeah. know I have, like, gone. I, I don't. I I don't. Don't know why I did this, but okay. I was out. Yeah, I was out. The story time. I was out, <laughs> and um, I was in another country, <laughs> and um, a friend. Of, who I was on the trip with was like, yeah, we're all going to go out and, and go bar hopping. No, I don't want to go bar hopping. What was I, gonna do? I was just going to sit around and look at everybody else, you know, do their shots and just, yeah, you, you know. Like, can I get some more water? Right, exactly. <laughs> Where's the Coke and ginger ale? Um, and I like dancing. I, so that was the thing that kind of got me. But I knew the environment was not right for dancing. Mm. Everybody was going to be doing something different than right. I wanted to do. But it was like everybody was going. Yeah. What ended up happening, I went miserable Ugh. I was miserable like it was not my scene at all and so it led to me don't take this don't do this this is not advice this disclaimer. is just what I did this is disclaimer <laughs> this is what I did I left the group early don't leave the group guys even if I you're left, miserable <laughs> I left the group early got lost in the middle of the city outside of this country and it was not it was a mess I couldn't oh, speak the language oh no. uh my cell phone service wasn't working right it was Law, I, couldn't, I couldn't find my way back to the the um, our, our residence at that time. Oh no, it was a mess. So I say all that yes. because you really do need to choose wisely where you go. Yes. Uh, every invitation is not a good invitation. Come Figure on. out you know who you are, what you like, yes. and do those things. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a great story. I 100% um, agree. It was a agree. mess. Let me tell you. Oh my. Praise the Lord, though. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm here right now protection. standing. Yes, protection. Oh Hedge of protection over me. My Lord. Um, don't do that. But yeah, don't do that. You know, <laughs> no, you don't have to find your tribe that way. No. Don't, don't give into that temptation. But peer pressure is real. It is. And it's, 
It is. And I always, I always, okay, my friends like to say I'm a little bit of a bully. Because I'm always like, good peer pressure, like, we're yeah. going to bully you to do something good and, like, mm-hmm. you know, something that's awesome and great for you. But there's definitely, you know, the the way peer pressure is, you know, known to the world is negative. And that's very, very true. Mm-hmm. And your story proves a point, like, everyone's going, you're in a foreign country. Yeah. These are the people that you know. Right? Like, yeah. you don't know many other people. So you're mm-hmm. like, man, if everyone's going, let yeah. me hang out. If I don't hang out, they're going to come back and be like, oh, like, you're like the party pooper. Nice. And it's like, and now, like, what happens if you have no friends and you're in a foreign country or something? You're like, yeah. I don't do. And, like, peer pressure is so real. Yeah. And be mindful when you have a lot of people in your life who mm-hmm. peer pressure you to do things that you don't want to do. Like, it's different from, like, oh, let's go to, like, I'm peer pressuring you to go to lunch and you don't want to. And yeah. it's like, let's just go. We're going to have a yeah, great time. Yeah. It's fun. And then you go and, of course, you have a great time. Right. Right? Come Versus, on. like, I don't know, like your example. Yeah. Let's go bar hopping. You're like, I don't drink. I don't go to bars. Why am I going? And I'm like, let's go bar hopping. And you're like, stop. And I'm like, let's go. Yeah. And then you end up hating your time while you're out. So be yeah. mindful of those friends that maybe <clears throat> this video might help you. To reevaluate those friendships that are mm. peer pressuring you to do things that are not good for you, mm. um, that don't sit well with your own personal convictions, yeah, and things of that nature. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, yeah. So talking about looking for uh, your tribe, finding mm-hmm. your tribe, uh, we've talked about where to find your people, yeah. how to find your people, um, and I'm looking, I'm looking at the notes so we don't miss anything. Yeah. How do you make friends? I think how to make friends. That's the question. For the introverts, Mm -hmm. all my introverts, if you're an introvert, leave me a purple heart down below. All my introvert people, the purple heart. It's for Mm -hmm. Mm y'all, okay? I think one thing I've learned now as an older young adult is I have to be open to conversation. Mm. And I had to learn the art of small talk, Mm -hmm. okay? The Mm -hmm. art of small talk will change everything Mm y'all if you are an introvert learn how to have small talk yeah it seems so impersonal because you're like oh how was your day where do you like where do you work where do you go to college you know all these things but those Mm -hmm. small questions that seem to like everyone asks and like Mm -hmm. it's so like why do i care Mm -hmm. can lead to you know really in-depth conversations with somebody like if they're from you know you studied abroad and like all that starts like, oh, where'd you go to college? Like, I went here, but then I went to this country. And yeah. all these things get to expound on that one question that seems so, like, cliche to ask mm-hmm. somebody. Mm-hmm. So learning the art of small talk, I think, is number one. Mm-hmm. And being comfortable with doing that yeah. <laughs> is number two. So practice. You know, yeah. go out, like I said, a little earlier than your friends arrive. Mm-hmm. And practice the art of small talk. Right. It will really help you just learn how to practice having conversations with people mm-hmm. in situations where you might be a little uneasy because I think the misconception of introverts is that we're mean or that we don't like to talk or we don't want to have friends I'm like we want friends we just don't know how to make it when it's in an environment there's just so many people mm-hmm. and even over the weekend that event I went to like I kept on saying there's so many people here there's so many people here and my other friends are like there's not that many people here like <laughs> we probably held bigger That's events true. than our church and I'm like yeah. there's just so many people here yeah. Like, I was like, I couldn't take it. And so learning yourself and understanding yourself and knowing, like, okay, large crowds, you're going to be a little comfortable. You're going to be a little uneasy. Mm -hmm. But learning the art of small talk, get your questions ready, y'all. Yeah. Find your top top three questions that you know you want to ask that can lead to deeper questions Mm -hmm. and go from there. Because when you find an extroverted person, they're going to conversate with you. (laughs) So get top three, just three, and see that you can have tons of conversations and meet people and find out fascinating things really yeah um so i think that's one of the ways you can make friends and the other way i think you can make friends is doing that in the right environment Mm -hmm. so again back to what we're saying finding places that you like that you enjoy things that you like things that you enjoy it does not make sense for me to go and like try to find my best friend at a bar you know at 2 a.m when you know she or he is like had 16 beers at this point, and I don't drink. Like, mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Like, nothing really, I mean, maybe. You never mm-hmm. know. But the likelihood, mm-hmm. right? 
of like my best friend coming out of this situation is probably lower mm -hmm. than if we met at church or at an event or something like a conference that yeah. I love going to conferences and feeding my mind of you know things of great people who have experienced and lived a lot more than me yeah then meeting someone in that situation and we have great conversation about you know the session we were in and we exchanged numbers and continue talking about these things mm -hmm. that might foster a much deeper friendship because we yeah. both found each other in an environment that we enjoy to be in yeah. so those are my top two top three tips on how to find friends for my introvert folks yeah. about, and then i would say extrovert yes um blue heart there you go so if you are an extrovert blue heart below mm -hmm. and um I would I would agree. I, I think the the approach is a little different. So for a small talk, we got it, you know. And and then I would say um, when you go into a new environment and you're getting to know someone, uh, a humor is very helpful. Yeah. I would say that like small talk, maybe you figure out in the first few things, you know, where are you from. Mm -hmm. Um, you live around here, you know, have you been to this place before? Um, but then, you know, sometimes you can just, just have a little fun. Yeah, I wow. think that's really important. Just the last, you know, laughter mm -hmm. is really cool. Yeah. Uh, it brings people together. Yeah. And so if there's something, if it's your personality, you know, yeah. if you are not a funny person, don't, don't try might, to don't, be don't force it now. <laughs> don't force it now. Do not rep misrepresent yourself. Yes. Uh, but, you know, if you are, you know, someone who can make a joke, it's, it's cool. Just make a joke. Yeah. Um, something that might connect you. Yeah. Um, you may be someone who's really quirky and an extrovert. So, you know, just, just be yourself. The people who understand you, who will, like, connect with you, they will. Yeah. Um, I think the most important thing is to be yourself. You yeah. know, like, if you're, you're someone who is uh, very into, you know, sports, for example, and um, that's where you are, then the people around you will... <laughs> Yeah. likely be there and have the same interests. Yeah. Uh, but just be real, you know, you yeah. might get into a little argument about your sports teams. And healthy <laughs> right? competition. Healthy. A healthy little competition. <laughs> um, but that's cool. If you're the kind of person who likes, um, you know, little swanky events and yeah. you like, um, you know, being able to talk about things that are, you know, very intellectual yeah. and I love that as well. Um, if you, you know, whatever it is, um, you just be yourself. Yeah. And I think people will be able to quickly tell if you're being authentic or not. Yes. That's very, very important to be your authentic self. Um, and so those will be, those will be on top of what you said, what my pieces of advice will be for those who are looking to find friends. That's good advice. Friends. Yeah. Great yeah, yeah. advice. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well. So, was there anything else that we wanted to do? So, one thing, I don't know if we said this, but this is part one. This is part one. Um, and so, we have a lot that we want to share yeah. about, like, the the tribe and kind of yes. getting a little deeper into what it looks like to be on the inner circle. But yes. I think we're just going to say that to the next, the yes. next, next time. The next time. Um, but I think that really is, was there anything else that we wanted to talk about? I think we about? covered it in part one. I think we covered it in part one. Yeah, this is um, the beginning. Right. Yeah. Honestly, finding your tribe. And we know in this society, there's so much, um, there, there's such a big misconception yeah. about, like, how many friends people really have and yeah. close friends. Uh, we want you to be encouraged. Yes. Um, to know that if you, right now, you're in a season of life maybe that you don't have a lot of friends mm -hmm. or you've had to change friends you have to drop some people um just know that if no one else loves you jesus loves you yeah. right god is Come here on. yes for those and i have been in positions in my life i've been through times yeah. where i did not have friends whether i was moving to a totally new place or i had some friendships that were questionable questionable <laughs> well i'll talk about that in the next video yeah. uh fake friendships um, but honestly, there were moments where I was like, you know what? It's going to be me and Jesus for right yeah. now because yeah. that's who I can lean on. Yeah. Um, and so I would say that, you know, for anyone who's feeling discouraged, hopefully mm -hmm. this is encouragement. Like, honestly, it will not last always. Um, if you're transitioning in any yeah. way uh, between friendships, like you will find your tribe. Yes, you will. You will find your tribe. Like, I, I can tell you yeah. uh, that you will definitely find your tribe. Um, and so I guess we're going to leave them right here. We are. We are going to leave you right here. Because you stay tuned for part two. <laughs> part two is coming. Please like this video if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channels, Tiny Christina.
Christian Girl Kelly. Um, and we look forward to seeing you for part two. Bye, everyone. Bye. That was great. Excellent.